Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 4 for another team adventure. This time we are going racing with vehicles from the Rare Classics category. I have got something a little bit different. I say a little bit different. I'm running an Alfa Romeo GTA, pretty good car. Uh, however, I don't have rally tyres for once. It's rare I don't go for rally tyres, but in this one I haven't. I'm on vintage race tyres. I have all-wheel drive swapped it in the hope that on the dirt stuff I will be one of the better cars. I don't know whether that's going to work or not. Uh, <laughs> I have to wait and see. My car is small and light and about 200 horsepower. I mean, we're a long way down the order here. I, I don't know. I don't know whether it's going to be any good. I think it's going to be half decent. It's one of those cars that I'm a little unsure about. I'm a little unsure going into this race what we are going to see. Um, it probably won't be dominant, but there are these, these are the sort of cars that are either going to turn out to be unbelievably fast, like fast that uh, we're asked not to use them again, or a bit mediocre and not really scoring enough points. I don't think the GTA is going to be complete trash. I'd be very surprised if the GTA was complete trash. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be interested to find out, really. Uh, despite being a mere £1,600, um, vintage race tyres are not bad. I'm so used to driving cars on rally. I'm so, so used to rally tyres that this feels hideously... It feels hideously understeery. It just lacks grip compared to everything. It is not bad down the straights. I think the Merc is quicker than me. I might have to move over and let him peg a go uh, try and chase down. Uh, the, the Lamborghini, the Muras are looking pretty fast. I am not making turn one in Pega. Is, I was I see, I was struggling to make it to turn one and I was going to just let him peg a go uh, through there, but in Pega struggled to make turn one as well. So, <laughs> there we go. Let's just let the Merc go. We'll follow. So what we'll do is if we let the goal wing go, we follow it, and hopefully catch up to Longbow, although it's not really looking like that might work here. Um, sadly, uh, Longbow's got past the uh, Gulf livery Muir, and Lamborghini at the front is gone. Viper's car is absolutely vanishing off into the distance. Uh, can, can I be the best of the GTAs? That's the question here. I don't know what Longbow's done in that car. I believe that too is on vintage. I think a lot of cars in this are on vintage. Vintage race tyres. Um, a lot of them may not quite have the PI to get rally tyres, or you may not want to because it uses up so much of your available PI almost that you can't do much else to the engines. Uh, the Gullwing is slightly faster, so I can kind of beat the Gullwing to about 120, and then after that, the Mercedes takes over. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, you see, so the, the problem we have is we've got some pretty decent cars we've got third fourth and fifth not normally too bad or a sign the rest of our cars are not working at all now that might just be this track they might be very fast elsewhere i'm gonna have to sit here and hope they're gonna be very fast elsewhere because oh and we've had a disconnection well that's the first of this session i don't know the last time we got through a team adventure without someone at some point having crashed out. And then we have to have the hope that when they rejoin, the game will put them on the right team. Impega is catching second, and this is what we wanted. Uh, we want to see Impega. I want to see Impega battle Longbow. If they can slow each other down for a lap, there might be a chance I can... Both of us could sneak past. It's not going to matter, points-wise. We can't do anything points-wise in this one. It's all gone wrong for us further back. Um, but... Maybe there is a chance that uh, we can get ourselves on the podium. You know, you've got to make the most of your opportunities. There's a very sideways Lamborghini behind. No, I think I'm going to be a solid fourth place car in this one. Uh, whether I'm going to be better off road, someone will be on rally tyres. I can almost guarantee you that uh, someone is going to be on rally tyres because. In this, when rally tyres are a little bit of a stretch, someone's going to take a gamble at it in the hope that they can be good in a couple of races. Normally, that someone would be me. I think, to be fair, I think vintage races are probably the popular tyre choice in this one. Um, I think Gliska's got some speed, I mean, worked through the field. 
might have some speed in sixth for hancing that car around before. Um, yeah, we've got Impega up to second, but I'm definitely not going to be close enough to try anything on that other GTA. It's just a little bit too fast overall. It's been a little bit of a lonely race. I've been watching battles. We had a we had a tremendous start. Christ, is my car fast off the line? Uh, we had an absolutely rocket ship start. Oh no, eccentric. I mean, we weren't going to win anyway, but that's just not helped matters. <laughs> I guess it's better to have missed a checkpoint now than in a race that's down to, like, 50 points. You know, that is much rather there was a checkpoint missed on a race where we are well well over a 1,000 down. You don't want to miss checkpoint full stop, but it's going to happen. Let it be in this one. Longbow isn't going to be able to do anything. It's a good battle over second. It was a good, it was a good watch. I'm going to be a little bit of a distant fourth. I think Impega got screwed by the finishing positions. Thank you, Forza. Uh, fourth place for me. Yeah, long by dealing up get second. I, th I think Impega was ahead on the road. Oh, just punch my microphone. I uh, think Impega was in front of the road, and the game screwed that one. Fourth, I got points, but that's not enough. So, we move on to the second race. This, I've forgotten the name. I've, it came up, and I've missed it. Lakehurst, there we go. <laughs> Lakehurst Woodland Scramble. Now, half dirt, half tarmac. The tarmac sections are just straights. That's all they are. The dirt section is a bit sketchy. That's 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 kind of that really. Um, I have a good. I mean, I'm going to probably lead into turn one. The Dino doesn't launch. The other Ferrari is not great either. I wonder if that Dino. Ah. I have a very good launch, but the Mira is faster, of course. That Lamborghini will have more power than me. That has 300 horsepower, I think. It is heavier, but it does have a lot of power, which is good for the hills. If, I, if, the, if the Mira, sorry, could have been further back, that would be nice. Damn it, I can't even keep the lead for, for any length of time. I should be better on the dirt. That's the hope. I think we're on the same tyres, but the reason why I've gone all-wheel drive with this is my hope is that on here, the all-wheel drive will mean I'm one of the better vintage race tyre cars. It means I save the PI on the rally tyres, use a little bit of PI for all-wheel drive, that's a little bit of weight, but I will be better, for example, coming out of the hairpin. This isn't really the best circuit for all-wheel drive advantage, because, well, I mean, it's all oh, one hairpin. I have a little bit of a bumpy car through there. I do apologise. Not in no, no way intentional, that. I was just not going to stop. Uh, or I thought I was going to stop, but I didn't. Uh, in the end, can I duck underneath there? Yes, we can. Okay, and pegging up the third with the girl wing. Uh, here, I wonder if Kieran's Dino's on rally tyres. I wonder that would explain why it's so slow getting started. Uh, because it's down on power, because the PI was used putting rally tyres on that car. Could explain, might just be a tough circuit for it in that first one, we don't know. Uh, the GTA is going to have to now try and fend off from that mirror. Now, I can't do much up the hill here. I know I won't have an answer. We are going to defend into turn one. I know that leaves me slightly vulnerable on the exit, potentially to a cutback. Uh, the Mira is not able to do that. Yeah, I expect the Mira is going to give me grief up the hill. Now, I'm not as slow as I could be. This is not a slow car at a straight line. This is not my normal straight line speed machines, um, or lack of straight line speed machines, I should say. However, it isn't as fast as the Lambo. But we will well, we'll fend it off for now. You see, I'll have the traction here. The Lambo might just have the power to get this done. We are going to hold on. We're going <laughs> to try and make it work. Through slides the Mira, but this is so sketchy going side by side down here. I think the Mira had a lift. I think the Mira realised that uh, that one was not going to quite work there. Christ, that is... <laughs> that section is sketchy sometimes at best. We're in cars not on the right tyres, trying to go side by side. I think Viper was quite wise at, at backing out. Um through <laughs> through that one. I had the slightly advantageous line for the for the GTA. Um, but yeah, you don't want to ping off the door. You don't want to ping off the door and have both of you miss a checkpoint at the end of the day. The Mura has got more laps. I think that's a case of on that lap, you're not going to push it. On the final lap, you're going to go side by side down there. On the final lap, no one's going to yield um, positions. So it could get interesting because I think this is going to be a race-long battle. I think we're in for a... Uh, a tough time. The Mura wants to get up the inside. That time I didn't cover quite as defensively. Uh, I didn't quite feel the need to. I've got to be careful up the top of this hill. This is where... This is where I might be vulnerable. This is where the Mura's power is going to kick in. 
Now, last time the mirror wasn't quite close enough. I was a little wide, though, myself into here. So we're just going to park it on the apex, as is perfectly fair to do so. Uh, try and stack up. The, it has worked. Yeah, park it on the apex. The mirror can't get underneath us. Won't have the grip or the traction to go around the outside of us. And then that means we get a clean run down here. No side-by-side -side shenanigans uh, for the GTA. Don't do anything stupid. Get on the brakes sensibly for the hairpin. Get the car stopped. Make the most of the all-wheel drive on the exit. Job's a good one ish at least. Uh, the other good news is we're still holding on to third, fourth, and fifth, and it's looking quite um, like quite a gap back from them. Between Eccentric and Scotty is an okay-sized gap. Uh, we've pulled away quite nicely from the Mura this time around. Yeah, so if I can block at the top of the hill... I say block. No, I'm not really... That's not really doing a block. It's defending. Perfectly legitimate defending <laughs> up there. Defend at the top of the hill, and I don't think the Mura can do much. I think it has got it has got similar lap times to me, but you know if that thing runs three tenths of a lap, three tenths of a second of a lap faster, sorry, it probably won't catch me before the end of the race. So I'm in a strong position as long as I don't make any goofs. I mean that is always easier said than done, uh, <laughs> because well yeah I've got a, a decent car here. That's, there's no doubt about it. Uh, the mirror is also pretty pretty rapid. I'm pleased my build is working here. Uh, as ever, I tend, even without building a car-specific rally tyre for this, I do tend to have a vehicle that will um, be okay at the dirt. I, the thing is, with me filming this, the camera's always going to be on my point of view. I could build a tarmac specialist car. I could do that, and I could make a car that's very, very fast at the tarmac, but it does mean that you are guaranteed to have two duff races per adventure. Potentially running around on your own, not seeing much. So it's kind of always in the back of my mind knowing that I don't really want to have two completely dull races where I know I might be competing with a couple of cars at best for, you know, ninth maybe. So I always kind of build a car that I know will at least score me some points. Also, I think it's good when you know some folks are going to build specialist cars. It's nice to be able to build a car that will score consistent points for your team. You know, that, at the end of the day, that is quite an important part as well to have that guarantee, I say guarantee, but have that car that can get 4th, 5th in just about any condition because that should normally be 300 points and so on and that can make the difference and I kind of like to have that car, I like to have that sensible all-rounder, I'm yeah, glad this is working, it's typical it's working in the normal way my cars you know, it's working in the normal manner my cars would work, which is dirt, but uh, <laughs> there we go, we have pulled away from the rest of the pack now the, the all-wheel drive GTA has worked very, very nicely around this one. The Mura is not bad, and that is... I mean, you can see it rear-wheel drive. It was slipping and sliding. Probably has some very big rear tyres, I would imagine. Uh, I can't remember what they get, but they're big. Much bigger than... I think I'm two, four, fives. Might be slightly larger on this, but they're not much. Um, so, yeah, the Mura has got some big rear tyres, and I think that's going to be helping it. In the world of Forza, the bigger the tyre, the better. Uh, especially with... Especially on dirt when you're not on rally tyres. Uh, we've seen it before. Big tyred cars do have a, you know, nice, powerful advantage. Uh, we will round the final corner. No silly shenanigans for the Alpha. The Mura has no answer. We will claim victory in race number two. Might not have been a great start for the GTA, but it's come good in this second race. So, we move on to... Race number three, the Broadway Village Circuit, where I'm hoping the GTA will continue to work relatively well. I know this isn't going to be as fun as the dirt, but oh, we start on, oh, we start on the front row alongside the other really fast starting car. I don't know if I can beat it to turn one. I don't know if I can beat them. Mm, this is at least some slow speed corners. Maybe the mirror will have some traction issues, but... It's not quite the same as slow speed dirt, where I know I will have the car to the car to go. Um, oh, it's, it's not part of it. It's the front row for my team. You never know which way it's going to go. And yeah, that thing is pretty rapid off the line. See, we just leave everything else for dead. But uh, we are pretty pretty even. Yeah, I don't think the mirrors. Like, all wheel drive isn't going to be in B class. This sort of circuit, all wheel drive isn't going to be enough of an advantage to. Um, to get me passed easily. Um, 
we want to have to grip through these corners. I mean, I think we're pretty similar, actually. Be worried about the Lambo's top speed. I think that's what the difference might be. I can keep with it for a little while, but I can't match it by the end of the main straight. I will have to either be braver somewhere. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but we will throw everything at it and see what we can do. Unfortunately for me, Blue Team have got their... Uh, their alpha now in third place and that looked pretty damn quick in that previous race we've got Impega in fourth so it's the same four protagonists basically <laughs> at the front of this race don't know where the others started on the grid but we have got the same four cars at the uh, lead of the pack for now it'd be nice to add Impega on pole and see what that Mercedes could do when not stuck in traffic um, you can already see how far back Impega is from the first lap that's not just car speed that's just having to work through the pack on lap one. Um, yeah, so these medium speed stuff, the Lambo is quicker. The mirror is quicker. Through the slow speed stuff, my Alpha will reel that back in, like here, for example. This is where, I mean, lap time wise, it's going to be so similar between us. I fear, uh, I fear A, Street Fighter is going to screw me, which it did a little bit. Uh, I fear we're going to be stuck at this stalemate, even if, if we ignore the fact that Street Fighter kind of killed me there. Um, even if I could get a pass done, I think I'd always get outrun to the start-finish line. Damn. <laughs> I've got to find that little bit more speed. Not top-end speed, can't fix that. I've got to be better in the corners. I've got to break later, carry a bit more corner speed. Uh, if I can, probably not clip any fences would be a good start. Uh, how brave can we get? I mean, hope for there to be mistakes from the Mura, uh, not be mistakes from me. I do I really dove across the inside there. That wasn't particularly... Well, I mean, I stayed flat on the most part, but it wasn't the greatest line. This is where the Lamborghini now stretches its legs a smidge. Can we reel it back in? Hopefully with no lamppost shenanigans this time around. Because, uh, yeah, it's... Lambo struggles getting the power down. I mean, it's a nasty corner. You're often bouncing across the curbs. You're out wide. Points-wise, it's not working for us again out here points wise I did worry about this track it's a lot more similar to that first circuit we drove around we've had a better lap this time around I think all four of us are very similarly paced <laughs> I think if you had all four of us close together if you had us four starting first second third fourth we would have one hell of a fight because all of our cars are quick in different places um, I have the traction that no one else has because I think I'm the only all-wheel drive here um, the Lambo has the top speed the other Alpha is very good in the turns, as is the Mercedes. Uh, with the Mercedes a little faster than the straights. We've all got that straight. We've all got those weaknesses. And this track plays to all of ours just in different places. Uh, see the Lamborghini with the wheel on the curb under brakes. That's not where you want that wheel to be. It's not the worst in Horizon, but you can still have the cars snap about uh, if you get it wrong. You'll more often than not get away with it, but some cars do get unhappy. Uh, we are, again, it's so... <laughs> It's just, what can you do? You've got tenths of a second difference here and there in a lap time, I suspect. Again, we can't tell. Sadly, there's no way to know. Uh, no no real positional changes are going on for us, for Blue Team. Oh, the Lambo is deep into turn one. Now, does that give me a chance? We're both in the wall through the next corner. See, I saw the Lambo took more speed. I took more speed. The Lambo's brush the wall again. You don't want to be doing that. That is going to cost you time. It's going to cost you momentum. But I'm not close enough. If anything, Longbow's probably been the biggest gainer in this final lap, but I don't think Longbow's close enough to do much here either. Uh, we can throw it across the grass. I don't care if I lose time on the dirt here. We are in the best position we have been all race on the final lap. Can we do anything about Viper's Lamborghini? Unless there is running wide out of the final corner. The mirror is a little wide. We draw alongside, but it's not going to matter. This is what I said. We cannot outdrag it. Viper will take victory. We will have to settle for second in the end. Oh, good race. We had... I mean, if I hadn't brushed the wall, if I hadn't brushed the wall through turn two, would I have been in a better position? I don't know. Would we have still got boxed up behind the mirror? Probably. Oh, the, the, uh, us top four. Our top four cars are consistently <laughs> consistently quick around there. I think Longbow might have got the fastest lap of the race on that final lap, uh, but just ran out of time working through the field. Blue team win this round of the adventure. Our other cars did struggle, but uh, damn was that a fun race. So, we move on next. Back off road the Tarn Howells Scramble Circuit will play host to this next race. I am going <laughs> to 
Wow, the game has been very kind. The game has been very kind to me. As we will start once more on the front row for Red's team. My quick starting alpha is going to like this one. We're alongside the Jag. It does seem to struggle. Those XKs never really seem to work. I don't know whether they could in higher classes. Certainly we've seen them run in, in the lower classes before. I uh, like B class, C class and so on. And it's never gone very well for them. I don't know what it is about that car. It just seems very, very difficult to, to build to get that working. And Scotty is having a tough time with that car so far. Again, you never know what might come good at what circuit. This track also, unlike our previous off-road venue, uh, is predominantly dirt. Uh, that, la that last track, Lakehurst or whatever, is a lot of straight line speed with a sketchy dirt section, whereas this is proper off-road. Yeah, this is proper off-road. Now, those on rally tyres, if Scotty's car is on rally tyres, which again could explain its struggles elsewhere, uh, that might be very fast indeed around here. Might struggle on this section because it will be underpowered. Uh, yep, I think that might be. I think we're going to be in for a right tussle with that. Lombo's Alpha is also pretty damn rapid here. Uh, I would presume rear wheel drive. I guess we'll find out when it comes to traction out of some of these corners. Uh, we lead the way. And again, uh, Red Team does seem to be preferring the dirt a little bit uh, to the tarmac stuff. The bad news for us is if we, well, we need to win this one. Okay, if we don't win this one, Blue Team will win the adventure. Bad news is the deciding round will be done on tarmac, and we would then have to win a tarmac race, which, considering our car's performances so far, uh, looks like it would be tough. I've got lots of company with that Jag. The Jag oh, that Jag's got to be on rally tyres. That's, that's so good at getting turned into these corners. I could only imagine that would be on rally tyres. Oh, come on now. Come on, we can outdrag Longbow. Uh, <laughs> we are having to try and make this as difficult as possible, and we have to, because points-wise it's now gone back the other way. It's gone in favour of Blue Team. I think Longbow's going to get me here as well, and I don't know if there's much I can do about this. Uh, Scotty is going to lead, and we'll hold on across the start-finish line, I should think, here. I won't be close enough. Problem is, if I hadn't had Longbow there, I would have got Scotty, but Longbow was alongside looking for a way past, and that gave me trouble. Uh, oh, Scotty had a huge moment through turn one. That is not what the Jag wanted. Uh, there's a massive twitch. It looked like this is always like too soft a suspension got the better of that car. So much body roll went on through that section. And Scotty has come out the other side. I mean, lost a lot of time. Lost a lot of time on that. I was on the inside. I couldn't do anything. We've got this acceleration again against that Jag. Can I go around? I mean, I'm not going to go around the outside. This is all about... It's almost pin the Jag, make it slow on the exit, and Pekka's coming to join this battle, which we need. Longbow has a mega run, but he's going to be on the outside up here, uh, although that might actually still be enough to make it work. Longbow's got massive speed out of that hairpin, uh, although now... <laughs> oh, we're going to go three wide towards the start-finish straight. Uh, I don't want to be on the outside really here. Uh, definitely not that far wide on the outside, but Longbow takes the lead. Uh, we need some more red cars up here. I can only do so much. I can only do so much on my own. I think I might be bested by these two as Scotty dives up the inside now of the Alpha. It's been a fun battle. It's It's been a very, very fun battle. Um, I think I am outclassed. I think, <laughs> I think we are outgunned. While the Jag might not work, this is what I said, there was always going to be somebody that would go rally tyres pretty damn sure that uh, that Jag has got to be. I, that's the only way that car could turn. It's cut, it's cut back underneath everybody at turn one. That, to me, says rally tyres. Uh, unfortunately for us, we need another place. Now, it doesn't matter who it is, but we need a place taken away from a blue team car. Now, if that's me for second... I mean, me for second is literally about the closest place on the track at the moment for a, a red car advancing up a position on a blue car. Um, if these two blue team wants to tangle into a corner, I would not be opposed to that idea uh, whatsoever. But I, I can't match quite Longbow's car through these corners. Uh, I have not quite got that, that level of speed. We have got a better line here. Uh, we might have to have a dive and hope. I say dive and hope. We might have to have a dive 
work on the basis that I can get the traction, I can get the power down, because it's still 50 points the wrong way, and we need to win this round. Red team have got to win here if we want to stand a hope in hell of uh, winning the adventure overall. We get a good drive out of the hairpin. I mean, we're not a million miles away from managing to make something work here. Oh, that's a big bump. It's actually still carried really good speed onto the back stretch. <laughs> Could we do something about Longbow? This is it. I have been very quick in this final corner. We get to the inside of Longbow. Is it going to be enough? It's not. Longbow will hold on just. GTA's crossed the line nose to tail. We, I did everything. That final lap, I could not have done more to find a way past Longbow's car. We had a mega final lap, but it is not enough. It is not enough in the end. We will have to settle for third. The Jag comes good at uh, the Tarnhouse scramble. Those off-road tyres working wonders for that vehicle. Ah... Oh. 50 points in it. 50 points in about half a car's length. <laughs> um, we, well, we got alongside. I don't think we, by the end of it, I think Longbow had just got ahead. But damn, well done, blue team. I guess we fight for honor in this final round. So we move on to our final race. The Edinburgh Station Circuit is a well nasty street track. Oh, I'm at the back now. I, that's. Fair. I've had my, <laughs> I've had a lot of front row starts. It is only fair for the game to put me down at the back, and I know I won't be at the back for long, barring the Mirrors, uh, one of the Mirrors. Um, I will probably be the quickest starting car here. The other GTO thing's fairly quick. Either way, I expect to be mid pack by the end of turn two. Uh, this track might not be the worst for me. There's a lot of stop start. Again, I'm kind of working. What are my advantages in the GTA? Well, we have got pretty good traction. Uh, out of the turns, we can use that. We're not bad handling car at all. Uh, I mean, this track kind of works. It's not so much pure top speed base. Oh, we're not as we didn't actually. I don't think we had a long enough run there to work our magic off the start line as we did at the whatever the first track was called. I forgot. It's I'm not doing well with names. Um, yeah, it didn't have actually quite long enough straight to make the most of my of my vehicle's strength. A little bit of shame, but uh, I guess we have to do things the hard way. But Bentley was doing some jelly car racing uh, pretty much up there now don't end up in the building it's easy it's easy to oh it's easy to end up in the building yourself it's easy to end up being pushed in the end we got pushed past i didn't even know you could scoot up the inside of that one but we got pushed past that one trying to go side by side with our teammate well it's one of them it's one of them i don't uh, I mean, our car is quick. There may be a chance to gain some positions. Sadly, my car is probably the second best, maybe, on red team. Me and Pegas' cars are both very fast. Depends on the track, who is going to be the better car, I think, between us. Uh, and I have now got a mountain to climb to try and score us some points. Now, the pack is very bunched up. I probably won't be the only one to miss a checkpoint in this race. It's just going to be a work and, and see what we can... See what we can manage to do. Yeah, we're not winning this. We're not winning this round. It was the dirt we needed to win at. Um, here, I think we were always going to struggle. Blue Team have just got better tarmac cars than us. Uh, they just work better at these kind of circuits. Now, this is where it all went disastrously. Uh, that, that corner is the second part that always gets me as well always there that I end up in trouble. It's either, well, it's normally it's on the outside. There's a little, like, tyre bundle that's stuck on the end of the barrier, and so many times is it, I say so many times, two or three, maybe more times, I've got myself stuck on that, and uh, that's been a race over sort of, uh, <laughs> sort of a moment. Uh, so, yeah, uh, missing the checkpoint. I mean, we are actually catching the pack here. Now, if we could get a couple of hundred points and take some points away from blue team. Could we swing this? Mm, we'd need a lot of points. The annoying thing is I think my missed checkpoint may well cost us. Um, I get past red team. Would have liked it to be a bit easier, considering uh, I've probably got the better car. I've definitely got the better car, and I might have a chance of scoring us some points here. Uh, I'm, pushing it too, I'm pushing it too hard now, and don't overdrive the car. We need like 500 points, and I don't think I can... Do five, I can't do 500 points at this stage. I should have the car for third, I suspect here. But 
I'm out of position. Come on. I mean, we need a miracle here. We need a massive miracle. I say a miracle. We need a blue team. We need a high position blue team car to miss a checkpoint. That's about my only hope in this one. Oh, that Jag is so, so slow down the straight. It's very good through the corners. That's what rally tyres will do for you. And the problem is now, even with all of my speed, uh, what on earth am I going to do with it here? We've got to try and get past... Oh, there were some shenanigans with the checkpoints. Uh, <laughs> I think the Bentley... Bentley had to take avoiding action to actually make sure it got a checkpoint, and the poor Jag got stuck. Uh, and that ended up with the Jag in trouble. The Jag might have actually been... Uh, might have missed the checkpoint. Now, that has actually given us enough points to take a victory here. Can we get past Speed Beast in a Porsche that wants to be a motorbike? I'm pretty sure that's oh, it's almost on two wheels around that corner. So, <laughs> that doesn't look like it's having much fun around this track. Um, now, this could be what matters. At the moment, we have the lead, but I don't know whether Jasper can hold off. Oh, there's all sorts. It's, it's changing a lot further back. I think, unfortunately, poor Scotty, having taken victory, might now be in trouble. If we can get seventh, this might make it a bit more comfortable if something goes a little wrong further back, because you never know what's going to happen on the final lap. Can we find a way past the Porsche that does not look like the easiest car in the world to drive here? We've got the acceleration to pull alongside it. Can't make it stick there. Uh, it was going to be a too narrower, too narrower line. Uh, that Porsche looks all over the place. But again, we outdrag it towards the next corner. I don't think we're going to have to worry too much. I mean, it's throwing it up the inside. We'll just continue. We'll just continue to outrun you to every corner uh, <laughs> until you're eventually too far back to be able to do anything. We'll hug the inside, give it no room, and then we'll outdrag it to the next turn. I mean, it's, we've got points. Again, this is what we needed to do. I'd hoped we could after a disastrous start. It's 300 points. Uh, whether that's going to be enough or not as things are changing further back behind us again. And the Porsche can have a look, but it won't matter. You can't do anything there. Uh, yeah, you were never going to get up the inside there, my friend. <laughs> it was ambitious. I understand the need to try. I understand the need to try something, but that angle, that's that's not going to work. That's never going to work from that far back. Uh, we are going to... Oh, Eccentric must have missed a checkpoint of something on the final lap. It looks like we might actually take this by 50 points. It's very, very close. Ooh... Oh no, we lost it at the end. As I crossed the line, we had it. But by the end, we lost it. The Dino lost what was a ninth place that would have been needed. Damn. <laughs> I should have been better. My missed checkpoint early on was, was trouble. Almost brought it back. as a good adventure. That was a good adventure. Well done, blue team. Uh, we, we, there were cars that worked at different tracks. You can ask for much more, really, when it comes to a team adventure. That, though, is going to be it for this video. If you'd like to take part in the next one, you can sign up via our forums. There'll be a link in the description. Find the Fowries versus the Community section, and you can sign up in there. However, that is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.